Hey guys, Sangus Folger here, and I've got for you today a combination lock. Alright, so I'm just going to type in the code, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 7. Yeah, real creative. And then you just press enter, and that lights up. So that's awesome. But what if you've uh, typed that code in so many times, you're just tired of it. Well, all you have to do is just type it in one more time. And three, four, five, and seven. And then you just make sure all those are in there. And then you go over here and flick the right lever. And now this light turns on. And when this is on, you now have, you, you can, that is gone. That last one is gone. And the next, next uh, code you type in will be your new password. So I'm just going to go four, uh, three, five, two. Uh, six and seven and then you just turn this off so that code is now set in there and in case you were wondering you actually you can type in the same button twice in a row uh, anyway all right so you go four three five two six and seven and now I just press enter and it lights up so yeah that's awesome so there you go you can change your password now to show you how I built this yeah there it is um <laughs> wow um each one is a tileable section so that you can go as many buttons as you like, well, up to 15 buttons, and then, um, <clears throat> after that, you'd ha take even fancier wiring. Anyway, when you're putting it in, uh, well, when you write, one of these is going to go, all of these, all of these blocks are going to be touching these pistons, so when you press a button, um, it'll go through here, the, when the right is on, these blocks will be down, so it'll go through here, it'll uh, go up through this torch, and uh, fire whichever block you hit. And then, after after you do that, it'll pull these blocks back, so the next time you hit a button when you're writing it, it won't use that, it, it won't get these again. Uh, and once it does that, it goes through here, um, and it pulls these up, so you can go on to the next one, and so on. Um, so yeah, that's about how the right works, and it pushes those up. Now when you're uh, type, just typing in the code every other time, whenever you do it, it it'll go th three different ways. The bottom one just goes to the next one, so you can have more than one digit in there. The next one goes in here, and it'll, um, it will set the RS NOR latch. And then the next one, it'll go up here, and if you have the wrong button then it'll reset it, so you'll have to start over on the code if you're trying to put it in. So, yeah, if you have it, it'll just go on the next one, just like any combo code, and so on. So when you get over here, this is sort of just all the stuff behind it. When you press enter, you have to have that code in, and if you don't, it'll restart it. And this little quartz thing, it's just, it took I took it over here, and that goes back to the, uh, the, the light with the enter. And uh, this little this little thing right here is optional. Normally, when you press enter, it'll give you a pulse. This just does it, so it'll stay on until you press another button. So that's about how it works. Pretty simple. Um, pretty simple to understand, at least. Not so much to build. But uh, yeah, I really like it. <laughs> I, I don't know if it would be uh, useful in like survival or anything, but. It's a really neat concept, in my opinion. Now, 
it could probably be smaller. I I'll say that right now. But uh, this was a concept, and it's the first in Minecraft. So I really hope you guys like this. And There is a download link in the description. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.